This is the story of Italy's decline from being a prosperous nation to a poor and ravaged economy. Everything has changed in Italy since the economic crisis of 2007-8 and you would be dumbfounded by the increasing poverty in the nation from 2008 to present. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host Ananya and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates and please install our Apple and Android mobile app. The link is given below in the description. According to World Bank data, Italy's GDP per capita has plummeted from $34,081 to $31,511 from 2007 to 2021. This is a huge 8.1% decline, keeping the global growth in mind. To put things in perspective, China's GDP per capita grew from $4,700 to around $12,000 in the same period. The quality of life is directly correlated with the real GDP per capita. Therefore, when growth is negative, the standard of living falls and individuals experience decline in living conditions. The financial crisis of 2007 2008 led to a global financial crunch and led to several economies shrinking at the same time. But while other economies have recovered after the crisis, Italian economy has declined constantly due to Italy's GDP decline and the growing need for expenditure to support its economy, its debt to GDP ratio saw a huge increase. Today, Italy is one of the most indebted nations in Europe. Its public and private debt is greater than 330% of GDP. The government debt in Italy has increased from 106% of GDP in 2008 to over 150% now. Now the point of focus is that rather than curbing its debt, Italy has increased it by a staggering 41% in the last 14 years. Most academic research demonstrates that economic development begins to slow down and the standard of living begins to see a drop when total debt to GDP exceeds the level of 300%. Around 2010, Italy reached this point of excessive debt and economic development promptly began to vanish. Since then, there has been no end to its debt misery. Moreover, higher debt to GDP has also led to larger tax hikes by government. Amidst massive debt, Italy's unemployment rate has also seen a huge growth from around 6% in 2008 to 8.1% in 2022. In the period between 2012 to 2019, the unemployment rate was consistently more than 10%. Accompanied with unemployment, its inflation has soared from 4% in 2008 to 8% in 2022, which is a huge 200% increase. The same period has seen Italy's purchasing power parity decreasing. When Italy's GDP is adjusted with purchasing power parity, it has seen a similar decline. From around $44,600 in 2008 to $41,900 in 2021, it has been a staggering decline. That is a 6% decrease. And that means Italy's populace today can buy less stuff with the same amount of money that they could in 2008. Italy's high level of debt Inflation, unemployment and political inefficiency are only the symptoms of the larger issue. The country is running out of people. People in age group of 15 to 64 are necessary for growth in an economy. According to ISTAT's annual status of the country report released in June, the number of people in working age in Italy will decline by 6 million over the next 30 years. Increased debt puts a weight around the neck of the economy. Youth find it more difficult to advance in their careers, purchase a home and start a family as a result of the slower economic growth accompanied with high inflation. Therefore, there are fewer births, decreased fertility rates, delayed family formation and a baby bust as a result. Future historians will likely view Italy as the perfect example of a country that managed to decline from a prosperous leading industrial nation to an increasingly poor nation in just 14 years. If you are an Italian, you might be contemplating that COVID might also be the reason for all this. But you are wrong. The downfall is a result of unchallenged economic desertification, complete demographic mismanagement, plummeting cultural values, ubiquitous corruption, 
an inefficient bureaucracy and a complete political constitutional chaos however it must be understood that if things continue in this direction italy will cease to exist as a modern industrial nation in less than a decade it may take several decades to rebuild italy barring some sort of miracle right now it appears to be a lost cause